Sauber left Melbourne frustrated after it had to replace an unfit Pascal Verlein with Ferrari's reserve driver Antonio Giovinazzi, while Marcus Ericsson retired after a tangle with Haas's Kevin Magnussen. But on balance, this year has seen the Swiss team revitalized with a new look, new driver lineup, and a new lease on life following its change of ownership to Longbow Finance in July 2016. And it's the calm and stability the team has needed for a very long time. 2007 marked the team's best ever season under short-lived BMW ownership. Scoring a win the following year with Robert Kubica, but Sauber has been on the slide since, finishing 10th twice in the last three years. And there was good reason for its drop in competitiveness. Things have been getting more and more cost intensive every year. The kind of restrictions we had many years ago have all been softened or opened in some way or the other. So you again can start spending much more money than you could do maybe a couple of years ago. And there are no um, ways to control that. Last year was especially difficult for Sauber, despite Longbow Finance's arrival mid-season. Brazilian Felipe Nasa scoring the team's only points, but made it count, his ninth at Interlagos moving Sauber ahead of Mana, earning it upwards of 20 million US dollars. And time has also been needed to rebuild the Hinville operation after its hand-to-mouth existence, financial stability bringing many benefits. It very instantly gives a different kind of motivation to the people working here. You get attractive for far more people to come because we have been hiring additional staff. So you see how we step by step are coming back to where we actually belong. And where it belongs is heading the midfield, challenging the top teams on occasion as a giant killer. Something it most recently did with former driver Sergio Perez in 2012, who took three podiums in that season. The new C36 may not be fast, with Ferrari's 2016 power unit in the back, but it is reliable, clocking 788 laps at pre-season testing in Barcelona, the fourth highest total over the two weeks. All ingredients to move forward are there, with Jorg Zander returning from Audi as technical director, while strategy head Ruth Buscom and head of track engineering Chevy Pujola ensures the team makes the right calls from the pit wall. And the one that can understand uh, on a better way or faster way is we can gain an advantage, in the first, especially in the first few races of the, of the season. The drivers are fully motivated, with Marcus Ericsson desperate to show he can defeat Mercedes' protege, Pascal Verlein. You know, it's always a lot of focus on the teammate battles, and, and I'm going to make sure that I'm going to be the, the stronger of the two of us. Verlein, though, has to beat Ericsson this year, with his fitness issue in Melbourne not a great start. But he's not getting drawn into comparisons with the Swede just yet. At the end of the season, I can say I, I did the best I could do, and uh, you know, or we can say we, we did the best job we could do. Um, we can be happy, and, and that's important. It's an intra team fight that will push the squad from Switzerland forward and could very well see Sauber emulate Force India as the little team that could, with its mojo firmly back in hand.